Hate parallel parking? Love the idea of reverse parking, but hate the idea of having to reverse park in a tight spot. Do you guys have a small garage and have a hard time getting in and out of your car? But you're not alone. What is up guys? It's Chris with Everyday Chris and welcome back to another episode of Quick Tips with Chris. Now it's not super cool. These days, most cars, even my old Prius, has something called auto park where it can parallel park the car for you or reverse park into a parking spot. In today's Quick Tips with Chris, I'm going to show you how to let Tesla do the parking for you. And if you haven't watched my other more detailed videos, how to enable a secret feature to let the car park itself forward or backwards, which can be super useful if you park your car in a garage. Now the auto park feature only applies to those with enhanced autopilot or the paid full self-driving. However, this is a good video for those who are contemplating on getting FSD. All I can say is if you're in a rush, park yourself. We're gonna start with the easiest parking method first and then work our way to the most annoying. Now, to enable forward or backward parking on the Tesla screen, you have to disable one feature. It's under autopilot, customize summon, and require continuous press needs to be set to no. Then when you arrive at a tight spot or a garage, Put the car into park and double press the gray button on the gear stock. After you'll see a up and down arrow and choose which one you want the car to move. Then once you leave the car, the car will auto park. Now if it's a tight spot and your safety settings are set higher, it may not park because the space is too small. So for me, these are my distance settings. Next with most cars, it uses radar to determine if a spot is free and that's how it parks. So in order to use this automatic parking feature for other cars, there needs to be at least a car in between the parking spot. However, with Teslas, they switched to Tesla Vision, so now it uses just the cameras to park the car, which is amazing. That means you can essentially park in an empty spot as long as it has parking lines, and as long as the Tesla picks it up. Because honestly, it doesn't always work, and sometimes it even parks in the wrong areas. But to use this, you simply wanna drive slowly past the spot until you see a gray parking indicator. Press the button, start auto park, go into a reverse and it does everything from turning the wheel to even braking. However, always be ready to keep your foot on the brake just in case. Again, if you're in a rush, don't let the Tesla park itself because it takes way too long and it's kind of glitchy. I'm hoping one day it could be way more smooth and streamlined. However, it does work. Now onto the next one, parallel parking. This one can be super tricky because if there's too much space in between the front and back car, the indicator won't turn on. Also, if you're too close or far away from the spot, it also won't turn on. There needs to be just enough space for your car and you need to be close, but not too close to the spot for the parallel parking to engage. And I have to say, I suck at parallel parking. Hide your rims, because if I'm driving and parallel parking, I'm for sure gonna curb those wheels, guaranteed. With the Tesla, it actually does a decent job. Again, it's fun to show off to your friends, but if you're actually trying to park with people behind you, get ready for some sweaty back syndrome because it's pretty slow and takes a ton of tries and turns and it takes forever. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.